Hey everybody, what's going on? My name is Arbuckle, and today we are playing Modern Warfare 3. Uh, we're playing Drop Zone on Dome, and we are using a M16 Red Dot, and it's golden. I know, it's golden. You've never seen anything like it before. How crazy. Um, we are playing Modern Warfare 3 mainly because, in my opinion, I can honestly say... Call of Duty Ghost is the most boring COD I've ever played, and I'm not even going to exaggerate. I cannot stand that game. I can't play that game for more than 10 minutes without just wanting to break it in half. And I don't mean that as in a rage way. I mean that as in a, a why do I even own this game? This isn't fun. This is not fun at all. Back when like Modern Warfare 2 came out and Black Ops 1 came out, I was constantly playing Call of Duty. I could not get off the game. It was addicting. With COD Ghost, I play for 5 minutes and I want to go do something else. That's how boring I see the game. For example, I haven't played the game in literally 3 weeks. I got on last night, literally played one game. One freaking game and I wanted to get off. And I wasn't even at that mode where I wanted to throw my controller across the room, tell somebody your mom joke and get on the ground and start crying. I just... I didn't want to play the game. I didn't find it very fun, and and it just wasn't my thing. So I got on Modern Warfare 3, played with some friends, and got a gameplay for you guys and thought, hey, why not upload it? Um, you guys are probably going to be seeing a lot of Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 2 gameplay on my channel rather than Ghost just because I don't like it. And, and obviously, Minecraft is another big game that you've seen a lot on my channel lately. Um, so yeah, those are the four big games. Hopefully soon Titanfall comes out here in a couple months. You will see Titanfall and uh, and I guess until then we have to wait until the next Call of Duty in November of 2014. Um, it has been confirmed, but here's one thing that does kind of upset me again. Uh, I saw this video on T. Martin's channel and I've heard a lot about it lately and I hope it's a lot of bogus, but I don't think it is. A lot of people are saying that Treyarch is not making the next Call of Duty. And that there will be no zombies. That we will have to wait another year until they make a new one. Um, and uh, and T. Martin thinks that Sledgehammer is making the next COD, which does make a lot of sense. It doesn't really matter who's making it. It upsets me that there's not going to be a zombie mode. I could care less about Call of Duty and in the multiplayer and the campaign now that zombies is just coming into the world. The zombies is the biggest part for me, and it's, oh my, I still go back and I'm playing War at War Zombies, that's how much fun I have on, on zombies, like the whole idea, the concept behind the game mode is just, it's crazy, I love it, and if they could make a completely separate game for zombies, I would probably just die out of excitement, uh, but we know that they won't do that. It just upsets me that we're, we're gonna have to wait another year until zo a new zombies game comes out, which which I don't really like at all. I find that really dumb. And I'm sure a lot of other people are going to have a lot to say. Uh, more than I am, at least. Um, uh, some some mean stuff about uh, about them not making the game this year. Uh, which is kind of sad. Because I, I always look forward to zombies. I always look forward to the DLC and zombies. For crying out loud, I didn't even know Ghost had a DLC out. Like, And I make YouTube videos. And I didn't even know there was a map pack out for Ghost. How sad is that? So... I don't know. I really hope that a lot of it's just a bunch of BS that we're just rumors spreading and that maybe we will see zombies. It what if zombies is put into its own game? How crazy would that be? That just that went through my head just now and it got me extremely hyped. So hopefully Treyarch doesn't let us down too much here in the near future. Um, I wanted to talk about a couple movies that I watched yesterday, and the main one is Captain Phillips. I watched Captain Phillips for the first time yesterday on my Xbox. Um and I can honestly say it is the best movie I've ever seen. And that's that's saying a lot. That movie was the most moving, incredible, I don't even know what word to throw out there to describe it, movie. Like that's it was so good and it kept me it kept me paying attention the entire movie. There was no boring parts of the movie. The whole time it's just excitement after excitement after excitement and it never ends. The ending, the last 10 minutes of the movie are the best. I mean, there, there's not even a best part, but the last 10 minutes, the way that, that they handled the giant situation at the end is ridiculous. The movie is just mind-blowing, mind-blowing. And, I mean, there's a part, there's a point in the movie where everything's going by so fast. And, and you think, you're like, all right, there can't be too much more to this movie. And I look at the thing, and there's still an hour and a half left. I'm thinking, how are they going to pull this off? How are they going to keep me entertained when it's it's got to be over? And I tell you what, man, they do it. They get it done. It's the best movie ever. I love it. You guys got to see it if you haven't already. If you have, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the movie. Another movie I watched yesterday was The Escape Plan with uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. And I don't know why I can't think of his name right now. The other big dude. 
Um, God, is, why is his name out of my head? Anyway, he's extremely strong, and he plays the character where he his job is to break out of prison. And it's crazy. He goes into these prisons and tests them by breaking out. And he breaks out of a bunch of prisons, and then he gets offered to break into this top secret prison that's private owned government doesn't know about it no one knows where it's at and it's for top criminals well he goes there and turns out someone paid millions of dollars for him to stay there and they don't want him to get out so he has to figure out a way to escape with arnold schwarzenegger the uh, second main character in the movie and uh and, and they get it done and it is the coolest thing ever just to, to watch them escape and and see their plan and how they play it out. There are some big uh, turning points in that movie too. So you guys should go check out both of those movies. Um, that's all I really wanted to talk about. I just want to get a video out there talk about these movies. And, and uh, what I'm doing with Call of Duty today. Obviously you guys have seen a lot of Minecraft on my channel lately. And it's probably going to stay that way until I find something else that's uh, a little fun to play. I've heard I need to get Battlefield 4. Will do soon. Will do soon. So uh, don't worry about it. Um, Minecraft. Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, and Black Ops 2. Maybe some zombies gameplay, maybe some zombies content. Uh, that's all I got for today. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you guys later. See ya.